Yo guys, I'm Yellow, the Norwegian hardcore PC gamer. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, uh, Happy Holidays, Happy Christmas, and what else, what else? Um, I think I covered most of the things. If you don't celebrate anything in this day, uh, or in, in this uh, portion of the year, this time of year, um, alright, cool, I guess. But anyways, I figured I should go through some of the uh, things that have happened in 2016. With me and the channel, and uh, and with CS in general, and then I figured I should go through a couple of the things that I know for sure will happen with me and this channel in 2017. Um, I wanted to do this video last year, but that couldn't happen because I was literally not here in like south, um, yeah, southeast Norway. I was up high north, and I also got sick, so that trip was not fun. But anyways, what has happened this year is that initially my year started off pretty terribly, and CS in general. Was wasn't really as hyped, especially after um, a lot of the interest was pulled away from the game because gambling was basically shut down. And that's aside from the lack of majors in general. I think we had like two technically or one or something like just nothing compared to many of the years prior. That's what matters. And also with the lack of seasons, um, it kind of fucks up with a lot of the flow that um, sports normally have, as far as I've been able to tell. So uh, we're kind of kind of in a um, in a pull and push relationship currently, so hopefully Valve will do something to stabilize that, because um, just having a rhythm actually kind of makes uh, the hype be a little bit more proper when it comes down to a game, I at least would think. But anyways, aside from that though, um, the year had been a fucking uphill battle, but it ended pretty, uh, pretty well. I would say that this year have ended better than how it started with to me at least, um, because, you know, a family member passed away early on in the year, and then a move that was planned didn't work out as planned, because, you know, plans don't always go the way you planned, uh, obviously, uh, or not obviously, but sadly, um, so that wasted a lot of my time when it comes down to making videos and doing whatever the hell I do in real life, which, obviously, I gotta keep private, but anyways, um, shit happens, and stuff finally progressed, uh, so at the, like, half point of the year, a little bit uh, prior to summer, I do believe, I was able to get into this new apartment, and um, it's far better than what I expected, so stuff is actually going the, w the way it should. I mean, um, this is basically like RNG. I was kind of naive with the first apartment I decided to get, because the dude told me, you can get fiber here. He fucking actually, like, indirectly lied, because he had no fucking clue that you had to get, like, a proper license, because in the past I lived in a city close by, but now, uh, look, uh, I'll keep... I'll keep my location fucking private, all right? But fact is that this place has some hybrid fiber, so stuff actually got better. And now it really comes down to my PC a little bit more again, and that kind of kind of su sucks. Because I can stream, but it's not fun to play Counter-Strike when I come from a time and place where the game has not been updated so much. And this has especially happened this year, guys. Uh, every, everything that basically happened after the Inferno update have just pulled my frame rate so far down in general, in average. Um, which, in one sense, is good, because my PC was never that good. So I'm kind of expecting it to not get a good frame rate. But when I have experienced aiming with 300-400 FPS, and I then have to downgrade to 110, 140... That feels like AIDS, alright? It feels cancerous. I'm not even kidding. So that really puts me off the game, and in general, I almost just want to play something completely different. Take a little break, and, and wait a little bit. I'm not taking a complete break, though. I obviously, aim practice in CS, I do on a very, very frequent, frequent basis. Um, like, three days ago, I was able to get a 25 kill streak on a pistol deathmatch, and I was literally standing in mid on those two, and just popping people all over the place. Uh, a couple of gunfights, but in general, uh, I was able to USP uh, them in the face pretty effectively. A lot of crisp pre-aims, reading where they came, um, and even if I was uh, getting turned on, I was gonna say, I st still was able to win the fights, um, and I took every single fight that came. So, obviously, my skill is not declining by any, any sense of the word, and that is pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I guess the point I'm trying to get to is that I enjoy CS. I'm obviously getting only better, uh, which is really good because I obviously want to only get better. But seriously, the game on its own is like not pulling me into itself as it has done before. And the biggest reason for me is because my physicality as a human being doing something like a sport, I can't get as connected to the game as I've been in the past. And that just pisses me off because 
Um, I mean, it's literally as if every football player are now going to wear boots that are like three times their weight. Like, what the fuck are you doing? It's just provoking, really. Like, this should not even be a thing. But it's happening. And in the gaming world, we just gotta deal with it. And in my case, since I have an FX8350 CPU overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz, rock stable, um, and I have a 7970 graphics card, which is not that bad, really, um, I honestly have to look for an upgrade. Um, in which, uh, on the upgrade part, I guess I should inform you guys, and this is primarily thanks to you Patreon guys, you're fucking sexy, you're awesome, thanks. If you're a Patreon, uh, or if you wanna do some sort of present thing to me, you could either like the video, nowadays that's incredibly valuable. Just like a video that you watched. I do that all the time. I probably liked over 100,000 videos because I've watched YouTube instead of television for an incredibly long time. But anyways, you can support me in that way or you can become a Patreon in which currently I now have a new water cooler laying over there. Uh, it's ready to be used. I have a proper capture card which is going to go into my old six-year-old shitty PC over here. Um, I found out that the motherboard is actually completely shit. It's so shit, I kind of sort of want to just crack it on my leg, like bang, because it can't even fit the fucking capture card, and I actually thought that it could. Um, and the saddest part, I guess, is that it can sort of, but the graphics card that is like um, a 6870, it's one of my really old ones. Um, it's like two slots instead of one, so it can't fit because it's too fat, the graphics card. And you don't really get a one-slot graphics card anymore. Uh, and by the way, I, since I already have a two-slot one, why should I pay for that? So instead, I grabbed an incredibly cheap uh, <laughs> uh, motherboard, a new one, that will do the job, so that's pretty good. Uh, aside from that, I also uh, got myself some cheap but pretty good uh, world world-class, apparently, uh, cooling paste or, or whatever you call that. A thermal paste, I think it is, yeah. Um, and lastly, a small but pretty cheap but exactly what I need type case for my old PC. So uh, everything will be uh, more quiet, more smooth, uh, smaller. I can put it further away. Um, I also decided to grab two, um, I did a lot of research by the way, two uh, world class as far as the, the benchmarks told me, uh, uh, small fans. So, so I can put that in the case as well to increase the... the um, yeah, the, the, uh, the airflow. So, with all that shit in place, alright, only the core components of this machine need to be updated for me to have a actually proper modern computer. Uh, one that is not gonna be, uh, like, if, if this is the grade of the performance of, of your computer, Mine is like here, all right? Like this is the low tier, then you have like the mid tier, then you have the high tier. Like mine is on the dipping end of the mid tier. That's fine, you know? It can play a ton of games and I'm able to perform. But you guys gotta understand that that is because I have played a fucking insane amount of games. Uh, because that's something I enjoy to do. Especially in the shooting genre. And obviously the more you do something and the more you study it and the more aspects you try to pull in and the more tactics you employ, uh, whether or not other people are doing it, you can only do better at as long as you keep on doing it, and with me having well over 10k hours by now in the FPS genre uh, on record, uh, obviously I'm able to perform well. But I want to perform better, and when I know that a lot of my performance is literally nowadays locked away because of this piece of shit, <laughs> it has to uh, get up upgraded. So that is gonna be something I am truly going to plan for 2017, um, in which I will be able to stream with this machine though, so it will truly get to see how well it can perform, because uh, when these parts come in the mail, and by the way, they were in total fairly cheap, because I did a lot of sexy research. Despite uh, PC hardware being fairly expensive in Norway, I think this will total on like $400. Um, in which these parts have been ordered like over half a year in total, so that's not too bad, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, and it could be 500 yeah, because I've spent a bit of my own money, yeah. But anyways, the point is, um, what was the point again? Well, oh, yeah, yeah, I will be able to test this properly with streaming because I will now be able to do a, prop a proper stream, stream setup with this PC. I've been able to crack a couple of uh, riddles as well, and I guess I can tell you guys because you, some of you might be interested in this in the future. So I figured out how to stream with a 144Hz monitor, um, with, uh, or rather, while getting a proper output, um, in which it's a bit difficult to set up, but essentially you have to clone your display, set it to 720p, and then make um, OBS duplicate or do, do yeah yeah basically duplicate or do yeah du, du, yeah copy there we go that's the word I'm looking for copy your screen and 
view that in a sec uh, on a secondary monitor that you set up, and then you have to make your capture card capture that at 60 FPS, 720p, or 1080p, or whatever you want to do, then take that to a different computer. And then I figured out, you know what, since my USB mic is a USB mic, I can't use a mixer. So I gotta have this one routed to my primary PC, and then I have to uh, set up some private um, only LAN type uh, TeamSpeak server. Yeah, that's going to be something I'll try. And then I will route both of those signals, of the video through the capture card and the screen, and then we'll have the, the audio uh, from me speaking. It will be through TeamSpeak. I'll set, send that to the other PC, and it should work. I hope it works. It should. And this is like legit difficult because 144 hertz recording and USB mic uh, routing when it comes down to a streaming PC. I have not found no actual proper solutions that are like very easy to use and deploy. But this should be that. So... Hopefully that will work. Hopefully that will work. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So that's basically that wrapped up. Um, for the coming year, I am interested in making videos regarding H1C1 because it is a game in which I find that if you play it tactically sound, you can be able to win on a fairly consistent basis. I'm able to get like to a 7 or 8% or maybe even 10% win rate if I play in one particular style all, time, all the time. And if you guys know anything about H1C1, it's one man versus 200 other people. And of those 200 other people, you can meet people that are incredibly skilled. But being able to get a 10% win ratio is fairly difficult, uh, tactically and by skill. Um, so I figured that it might be interesting for people to learn how the hell that is even possible. Because you might think, so you're one dude facing 200 people? How can you even win 10% of the times? That's like me winning... Uh, yeah, like, yeah, winning winning 10 times against, like, fucking 2,000 people. Uh, if we are going by the ratio, the success ratio. But anyways, yeah, it, it, what I'm getting at is that I really enjoy uh, H1C1. I played it, like, I, I think I played it four months after it got released, and then I started to play it even more frequently, because I actually really enjoy the style of the game, despite a fuck ton of the flaws the game have, because it's so new. Um, but honestly, I'm really looking into, like, making some sort of proper uh, type style videos for that sort of stuff, but we'll see how I'll, I'll do the format, because the, the deal with CSGO is that it's fairly simple in the way you produce the videos, as long as you can also back that up with something that is actually juicy and makes sense from a commentary's perspective. Um, and that's aside from the style of video that I personally and just enjoy and that's aside from also the matter of fact that um, it's a fairly mental game uh, when you pull aside all of the very very basic practice type stuff uh, which is why the practice type stuff in in CSGO is not being talked on the fucking daily uh, most of the stuff that people nowadays bring up when it comes down to aiming at CSGO is basically a waste which sounds sad and kind of strange when you think about it right but that's actually reality I mean the best example we have is when you are a regular aimer how far can you take your skill? How far can you become a god? Like, you can only become a god so much so in, until Valve literally shut you down. We can obviously then take a look at the 47 uh, loss that Kenny S had when Titan was uh, still a team. Like, and, and Valve, Valve is like, F fuck that shit, we're gonna now nerf the op because you're the only guy on the planet able to do this. It's insane. It's dumb. It's like, okay, so... Even if you then become fucking insane, like, I, I remember Screen was, like, disgustingly crazy good. He fucking fought, like, I, I think he shot, like, six bullets and tapped four of the NIP players on Nuke uh, from from Ramp. That this, well, this was all Nuke. Everybody were on the side, like, he stood at Ramp, just tapped, shot, like, five, six bullets. All four people fall. It was absolutely insanity. Like, when you get to that skill level, Valve even steps in and they're like, okay, so this is obviously an exploit. While in reality, it's actually somebody that have literally dedicated as many hours as I have on the FPS genre in general on one particular fucking skill in, in which then it's broken? You gotta give me a fucking break, dude. So... Uh, obviously, understanding this aspect of how uh, skill is kind of sort of naturally capped by the devs, aside from how much of an impact you can have nowadays when you're fighting uh, teams that are very skilled, um, yeah, the aftermath of that is that you can get incredibly good. There is a lot of stuff and nuance that you can always practice, but eventually it just becomes routine more than it becomes something to focus on a ton, which is why performance of your PC matters a lot, and it's also why I would rather focus focus on many other things. And that's also why my format is how it is, basically. It's a difficult way of explaining things, but in the end of the day, the result will always be the same, all right? So there's that. Um, yeah, there's not too much more to say, really, other than that um, I don't 
enjoy what YouTube is currently doing with this platform. So the best way you guys can honestly do uh, or like make a channel move somewhere or anywhere really is to like every video that you are watching especially if you want more people to see it and if you did enjoy it if you didn't enjoy it um you can leave you can leave criticism but keep in mind that i have been watching videos on this site as a viewer for 10 years and i've been making videos for like six years now technically speaking uh i've technically even done animation which was fucking crazy because it was surprisingly good despite being surprisingly shit uh but uh, i i i'll maybe dig that up just for fun we'll see what happens uh but anyways that's not important what is important is that I don't have jack shit more to say. So thanks for watching. Thanks for a fucking crazy 2016. 2017 will be better, juicier, more video filled, uh, always more to learn, uh, especially in this uh, day and age where uh, gaming is being taken more seriously with Smash Melee, World of Warcraft 3v3 PvP Arena, aside from the arena of H1C1 and CSGO being on television along with Dota 2. I actually saw that on Norwegian television the other day <laughs> over at my old man man's house uh, during Christmas. Fucking crazy stuff. So yeah, uh, stuff is only getting more wild, alright? I might have had a shit uh, start of my year, a family member passing away, all that sort of stuff, but you know what? Stuff can only get better because uh, humanity is luckily, uh, despite what 2016 looked like, it's still moving forward. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching. If you want to support my work, you now know how, so I'm not gonna tell you again. Um, yeah, holiday greetings below the video. So that's up to you guys, I'll read that eventually. So yeah, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and this is to a uh, a hopefully really, really nice and an epic and an absolute beast 2017.